Okay, before going through the details, I have basic query from your sites. So you can observe here, business statistics consist of two different terms. One is business, another one is statistics. So my query is, what do you understand by the term business and statistics? What do you understand? Anyone, do you have any idea? What, what do you mean by business? Sir, business statistics is the analysis of... Selling our product and getting profit. Yes, selling returns. Analysis and selling profit and getting profits. Returns. Selling a particular thing. Okay, so very good. So business is all about making profits. Selling products or services and making profits. Okay, then what about statistics? Like statistics is used for like more amount of work. Like it is easy for calculating Analysis. large amounts. Large amount. Okay. So let's see what is there in business and what is there in statistics. Very good. Okay. I hope you have the basic idea regarding business and statistics. So yes, let's sir. see what is there in business. The very first one is business. So business is any activity that is leading to generate some product or services and sell it to the market and generate profit. Basic thing is generating profit, right? So we can define business yes. as an organization or enterprising entity. Organization or enterprising entity may be individual also that engaged in commercial, industrial or professional activities and directly produces some product or services and sell it to the market and generate profit. This is business. On the other hand, what about statistics? Statistics is all about information, all information regarding businesses, right? This is primarily dealing with the collecting, analyzing, presenting and interpreting data related to business. Then what do you understand by data? Do you have any idea anyone? Do you have any data idea what is data? Yes, very good. Data is facts and figures. Information. Yes, information. So whatever we are talking about business, we have some basic information regarding business. So what type of product we are going to produce? Who will be the customers? Where we are going to sell the product? And what will be the production cost? What will be the selling price? Different entities. We are going to note it down. So combined with this, all these entities is known as the data. This is facts and figures regarding businesses. Okay? And we'll have to analyze these facts and figures collecting the information, analyzing, presenting. This particular scenario is known as statistics. So statistics basically refers to the numerical facts and such as mean, median, mode, index numbers, deviation, whatever you can consider. So numerical facts that help us to understand the variety of business and economic conditions. Right? So whatever information related to business is data and we are, we are going to analyze this data present this data in a meaningful way this is known as statistics so what we understand here one is business that is primary focus is generating profit by producing product or services this may be an organization's enterprise or individual on the other side statistics is the analysis collection, analysis, presentation and interpretation of the information related to business. This is a statistics. So if we combine these two, business and statistics, we may find that term business statistics, right? Am I clear to you? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So now, if we combine these two, we may get the very basic definition of business statistics, which we can clearly define it as the process, statistical process basically of analyzing, collecting, interpreting the business information. So you can define business statistics as the process of analyzing, categorizing, interpreting and compiling data. 
basically so look here on each and every point the data word comes repeatedly so we will have to clearly understand what is data data is anything or any information any facts and figures related to business or related to anywhere this is data i hope i am mean, clear to you right yes sir yes sir so before this particular subject is dealing with very basic calculations okay so i hope all of you have the basic knowledge of mathematics like addition subtraction mean median mode i hope it is there with you right yes sir okay so it yes, is very easy then uh, you, you have already com uh, completed 50% of the syllabus if you know this one okay so before starting with the basic calculations we are going to analyze the background history of statistics okay so we know that very first one is statistics terms is not new this is very old terms okay so in the ancient era the term statistics is regarded or marketed as the science of statecraft it is mentioned here as the science of statecraft and this is basically treated as the by product of administrative activity so why it is by product because this statistics is primarily dealing the activities of the administrative like population sensation and uh, like um, gathering information related to the wealth of the uh, country like this so statistics was earlier in the ancient era dealing these two different things one is population census another one is the collecting information regarding the wealth of the country okay so earlier era statistics primarily dealing with uh, this type of administrative activities basically that's why it is called as science of state craft the source of statistics is from multiple points and this is one is from latin word status another one is italian word statista another one is german word statistic and last one is french word statistics so these four words so source of statistics word is coming from these four sources for origin okay one is latin italian german and french but meaning of all these four word status statista statistic and statistics is political state only why political states on that time it was primarily dealing with the population census regarding manpower requirement okay population population census and another one is collecting the information regarding the wealth of the country these two so all these two is primarily dealing with the political conditions of the country that's why it is meaning this political state okay so in ancient times statistics was primarily limited to the collection of data of the government for framing military and fiscal policies military means use manpower required fiscal policies means financial basically right so statistics was primarily dealing with two different conditions one is counting the population age and sex wise counting the population in the country because this particular population is required for military forces and another one is property and wealth of the country this is required for generating generating the financial policies of the country so earlier statistics was dealing with these two different scenario one is population count another one is wealth of the country so here population count will be enabling the government to have an idea of the manpower of the country so what what proportion or what percentage of the total population is uh, in between is 80 to 80 to 30 years like this. so this particular population will be used utilized for army or utilized for uh, military forces like this so government should have the basic idea regarding the manpower 
okay by counting the population another one is whenever government is trying to get some new policies that means the money is required so they are going to levy some taxes on the wealth and by the population so property and wealth count of the country help the government to record the taxes or to levy the taxes on the properties held by the government today is currently in india if you consider the india government is applying gst and this particular gst is uh, percentage is defined based on the country's financial requirement okay the percentage is decided i hope you are listening to me yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay very good yes, sir so this is a very basic thing please no uh, you note down the term here the source of statistics okay meaning of statistics is political state you just note down the important points here okay so next term is one of the earliest census of population and wealth was conducted by parauz you heard the name parauz how many of you heard the name parauz yes sir who is he parauz old egyptian kings yes so parauz was the emperor of egypt right very powerful so on that time parauz used to collect the population informations because he was uh, trying to build the pyramids and for pyramids building on that time huge man force required so to analyze the man force whether sufficient man force available in his country or not he used population census very first okay where and at the same time he used wealth analysis also so both manpower and wealth both required for construction of pyramids so that's why pharaohs first time done population census and wealth analysis in his country and this particular case is termed as statistics okay so following this other countries like england germany and other western countries in the middle ages used to apply statistics for census of the population and wealth in their own countries okay in india the term statistics was used even 2000 years ago for administrative purposes only okay so what they did on the time they also same doing the same thing counting of the birth and death statistics of the country okay so historical evidences was found about the prevalence of very good system of collecting vital statistics like birth and death in indian context and it was the evidences was found in the arthashastra written by cordillus okay after that the record of land agriculture and whole the statistics were maintained by tadarmal tadarmal was the finance minister or revenue ministers land revenue ministers in akbar's region okay so he was applied to record the land agricultural status and wealth of the country on that time in india okay again a detailed account of administrative and statistical survey conducted during akbar's region and this evidence was found in the book aini akbar written by abul fazl so i hope this is the historical history on the basic history and you know this one right you heard the name akbar tadarmal abul fazl right are you listening to me so this is history only yes sir yes if you are not getting any interest let me know i will stop here okay so i'm just telling you the history after akbar's region in 16th century 
the application of statistics was for the collection of data relating to movement of heavenly bodies first times besides earlier they primarily used statistics to count the population and wealth of the country first time in 16th century they used statistics for the collection of data relating to the movement of heavenly bodies like stars and planets okay to know their position and prediction of ellipses like diameters distance from earth like this so first time in 16th century statistics is used beyond birth and death notice death statistics and wealth statistics to measure the position and speeds any other things for the heavenly bodies like stars and planets in 17th century the term vital statistics first used by captain john grant of london so he used the term vital statistics that's why he is known as the father of statistics also first time he used so he used these terms to measure the systematically measure the birth and death statistics of the country doing the same thing but he first used the term vital statistics okay so that's why he is known as the father of statistics also after that and in the same time several great personalities used vital statistics or statistics terms or uh, apply the concept in various uh, scenario like caspar neumann sir william petty james dodson thomas simpson and prince price so these are the various persons who have applied the concept of statistics in different field among this william petty has written a book on political arithmetics essay on political arithmetics okay so in this time in his time he given the name political arithmetics because the statistics was popularized as the political arithmetic by the name political arithmetic okay so this concept of political arithmetics was continued till 19th century when jp susmit a persian clergyman formulated his doctrine doctoral thesis that the uh, ratio of birth and death more or less remain constant first develop a theory ratio of birth and death more or less constant by applying statistics here before that it was known as political arithmetic why political arithmetic they basically counting the population and wealth of the country which is primarily associated with the growth and development of the country whatever it is required wherever it is required okay so that's why till his time it was regarded as the political arithmetic so after that he is trying to improve the concept and the concept is doctrine that the ratio of birth and death or more or less remain constant otherwise population will not be maintained okay and gave statistical explanation to the theory of natural order of cycratic school so first time before this time the statistics was only used for population count but this time he analyzed the birth and death ratio using statistics and drawing inferences conclusions based on the ratio if the birth and death ratio birth to death ratio is constant that means population will be constant if birth ratio birth to death ratio we can consider this one as this is birth and this is death okay so if the ratio is 1 that means our population will be remain constant if ratio is less than 1 population will be reducing if ratio greater than 1 population will be increasing so this particular concept was first developed by susmilch jp susmilch using statistics okay in 18th century so after that the backbone of the modern statistics 
that is probability okay this particular probability theory and following this one the another theory is games and chumps was developed in middle of 17th century and it became popularized gradually okay so after 17th century the statistics is fully uh, developed and applied in different fields okay sir some people have raised hands yes uh, some people have raised hands sir so i am not uh, saying you if uh, uh, it will be better if you speak okay sir is this history a part of our syllabus sir yes yes history is part of your syllabus it's too complicated sir oh why <laughs> let me know no let one me... wants to hear that german in this in yeah, german this one yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. why uh, where you find this complication this is very easy and only one session no more okay <laughs> okay okay sir. it seems little boring sir to be honest only only one session and four five slides only nothing more okay sir. so no this will be as an exam you mean uh maybe okay okay sir so if you have any query you may raise your query by speaking because i am not seeing you whether you are raising hands or not because you are not visible to me i am just seeing my screen only okay okay sir okay. yes sir i hope you understand this one so yes, sir. if you have any query you must speak so can we move forward yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. or uh, yes sir you are feeling are you, are you getting interest i hope so so if you are feeling boring or uh, topic get uh, diverted let me know okay sir yes so this is very basic uh, story okay background story is only three slides is there so there is nothing tough here you just remember very important things not everything every emotions okay okay sir so it is clear to you very basic things what is the basic things here remember one thing statistics was very old term okay its sources what are the different sources i have explained here different sources from latin world like this latin word it is statista status italian statista german statistic and french this one statistic spelling difference is there so try to understand the meaning and spelling difference okay so very first definition of statistics is this one source is latin italian german and french language and meaning of each and every word is political states why political states statistics was earlier regarded as the count of population okay count of population and wealth of the country why because population is required for maintaining the workforce or in the army on that time military workforce and wealth is required to maintain the country's economy very basic definitions very basic things remember in this way okay so population is required for maintaining the workforce and wealth is required for maintaining the economy so for this purpose various kings from the very beginning of the um, era okay they used to apply statistics to measure the population and measure the wealth of the country this is very basic concept okay i hope it is clear to you right yes sir yes sir there is nothing complications think in this way okay this is very very simple yes sir. so after that so this is the concept and how this concept is developed it is history okay first used by pharaohs by pharaohs first used he first initiated to build a famous pyramid and it is exist till date okay so he for pyramid construction it requires huge man force and wealth that's why he started counting populations and the other things okay wealth of the country this is done by pharaoh's first time okay following this his idea was very successful 
and this idea was applied by england germany in the later wars in england germany and other western countries in the middle ages for counting their population and all those things okay in india it is even older but they primarily used for counting the birth and death statistics only nothing else only birth and death statistics okay and proof was found in multiple cases first one is kautilas arthashastra second one is aini akbari okay third one is the ministerial statistics of todermal these are the three these are the evidences nothing complications am i clear to you Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, are you feeling still feeling a bit complicated here, sir? Better than the first. No, sir. Not oh, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Easier. Okay. Okay. Very good. And this is uh, after this. This is Mughal era, right? Akbar Mughal era. After that, in seventeen sixteen century, then seventeen uh, century. step by step okay after 17th century 18th century the term became popular and used beyond birth birth and death statistics by the persian clergyman j p smith okay he used this one first times and after this area after his application of statistics it became very popular and applied in different fields okay so statistics history stops here now we are moving to the definition part what is definition because on different point of time people use statistics and define in their point of view okay so multiple people have defined statistics in multiple way the very first one is croxon and corden croxon and corden who define the statistics as the collection scientific science of collection analysis and interpretation of numerical data very simple science of collection analysis and interpretation of numerical data it is defined by croxon and coven okay the next definition is given by webster it defines statistics as the classified facts presenting the conditions of people in a state so concentrate carefully each and every thing is focusing on the people here so in this definition it is the classified facts representing the condition of the people in a state especially those facts which can be stated in number or in tables or numbers or in any tabular or classified element whatever it is basically information which is stated in number or in number of tables but in tables of numbers or in tabular form or in classified element this is defined by webster another definition given by bolly statistics are numerical statements facts in any department of inquiry placed in relation to each other another definition given by willey kendall it defines the statistics as the quantitative data for affected to a marked extent by multiplicity of causes okay another definition this is nothing nothing complications you just remember the definitions here what do you mean by statistics okay the next definition is given by king he stated the statistics as the science okay of judging collective collective natural and social phenomena from result obtained by the analysis or enumeration or collection of estimates okay another definition is statistics is concerned with scientific methods for collecting organizing summarizing presenting and analyzing data as well as drawing valid conclusions these are improvement look at from the very beginning when we move to other definitions it is gradually improving okay these are improvement so drawing and conclusions so up to this only collection and analysis of the data but first time in this definition they define drawing Uh, the data collection organizing summarizing everything is done besides they are drawing conclusions valid conclusions okay and making reasonable decisions based on the statistics next one is statistics is the science 
which deals with collection, classification, evaluation of numerical facts as the basis for explanation. Numerical facts only, background. We are, we are having a business, whether we are making profit, we are making loss, we are making uh, anything, whatever going on in our business, we can analyze based on this statistical facts and figures. So these are the various definitions given by multiple people, okay? So you just remember the definitions of the statistics here, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, can I move forward? So these are the definitions only, nothing else. Just remember, okay? Yes, sir. So this, yes. This many definitions you have to. Okay, yes. Should we learn all the definitions, sir? So, uh, you just remember uh, two, three very important definitions, not all the definitions. Okay, I'm just giving you that improvement statistics here. Okay, how definitions is gradually. Which ones important. are the important definitions, sir? Then? Important definitions, you can uh, uh, remember this one is statistics is the science of arts and science of collecting, analyzing data. I have mentioned the very previous slide. You can find here. So one definition is not enough. Uh, yes, yes, one, one definition is enough. One definition is enough. Sir, you should have told one definition on you, sir. Uh, yes. Should have told one definition on you, sir. I am not getting you. Speak clearly. Then you should have told only one definition, sir. Yes, this one. You can remember this one: art and science of collecting, analyzing, presenting, and interpreting data. This is enough, okay? Okay, okay sir. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I have mentioned multiple definitions. Why multiple definitions? Because I'm just explaining how definition is gradually improving. Okay? That's why history is required. So yes, after that, we are just moving towards the basic things of statistics. Okay? So very first one is the characteristics. The first characteristic is the aggregated facts. So we are talking about business. So do you have any idea what is the meaning of aggregates here? Anyone? Yes, sir. Total. It's total. the total sum of facts. Aggregate of yes, facts. Sir. Yes, very good. So aggregates is the total sum of facts. Excellent. Okay. So aggregates means total sum. So here statistics is the aggregates of facts here. How it is aggregates here? So say for example, you can consider here, we have a business here. This particular business is producing a particular product. This particular product is producing in N numbers. This N number product is producing is the price P1, okay, selling. This is production cost. P2 will be selling price. P4, then any resources required R1. Okay, then customer will be see. So for particular business, we may have these multiple informations, which product we are going to produce, how many quantity we are going to produce, what will be the production cost, what will be the production resources, what will be the selling price, who will be the customers, how much to produce like this, okay? So each and every fact is noted systematically in a single sheet so that we can easily understand by seeing the sheets what is going on in this particular business. So this is statistics. So each and every information is combinedly put in a single place so that we can get the clear picture about the business, right? That's how it is, aggregated facts. Next one is statistics are affected by a number of factors. So when we are going to collect the information, so statistics may be affected by environmental factors, may be affected by business factors like price, quantity, anything, may be affected by any other factor, political factors or anything, okay. So it may be affected by multiple factors. Next one is reasonably accurate. So based on these statistics, we are going to draw conclusions, okay. We have the production quantity, production raw material, resources required, we have the production cost, selling price, every information we must have. Otherwise, whatever we are going to draw in conclusion based on these informations will be wrong, maybe wrong. Okay, so to get 
a clear picture of the business our statistics should be accurate statistics must be collected in a systematic manner this is systematic manner look so if we are going to put the product in somewhere the number of product in another place then uh, production cost in another place and then again selling price in another place resources record in another that means it creates a haphazard situation so it will be very difficult for us to get the clear picture about the business if we put each and every information separately okay so first of all we will have to put each and every information in a single place clearly to give the clear idea about the business okay then we will have to collect the information in systematic order systematic order means first of all if we are going to collect the information like annual that means 2000 if i consider this one 2010 then first we have to collect the information in 2010 then 2011 then 2012 like this okay so in this way we will have to collect the information gradually so this is systematic way so from this we can easily identify the scenario in 2010 again identify the scenario in 2011 and we can easily compare the scenario also from 2010 to 2011 whether our business is growing or our business is constant or making losses so we can easily compare this one that's why whatever information will be collected will be systematic in manner okay am i clear yes sir, yes, sir. So this is the yes, very basic yes, statistics of statistics okay now All clear, sir. yes now application part in business any business you can find four different this is our business okay in business you can find four different aspects one is production of product okay so there will be production and operation sector production and operation okay another one is for this production and operations we require manpower this manpower will be supplied by the hr department so there will be hr section okay again for this manpower and production sectors we may need to produce uh, production we may need money okay this money will be supplied by the finance department finance and accounting okay finance and accounting and after production we will have to sell this product to the market okay for this we may have marketing department so these are the four different sector in any business which is equal so whenever we are going to understand the application part of statistics we just identify these four parts basically one is hr production operations marketing and finance so very first one is marketing so how we apply statistics in marketing here to apply statistics in marketing there is multiple context the very first one is production launch a product launch and market identification so either our product will be accepted by the customer or not second one is the customer buying behavior identifying the customer buying behavior this buying customer may be related to the local market may be related to the e-commerce or shopping mall so basically it helps us to identify the buying behavior product launch whether product will be uh, accepted by the customers or not we can easily identify by applying statistics this is the basic aspects of uh, marketing where we can apply statistics another one is accounting and finance basically auditing techniques auditing okay auditing of the financial accounts of the firm we can use accounting uh statistics okay so statistics also used for financial forecast and budget reports of the company it also help us to invest in the investment decisions okay and various statistical techniques like credit origination companies of individuals so these are the areas of accounting and finance where we can apply statistics next one is production and operations production is primarily dealing with the production of product okay so we can apply statistics here to identify forecast the number of quantities to be produced what will be the quality of the produced monitoring the quality and improving the uh, checking whether our product uh, company producing the quality products or not like this so we can use statistics here also next part is human resources so in human resources statistical reliability tests are conducted while recruitment how many manpower required 
when it is required we can done by the application of statistics okay so statistical concepts are used in compensation management also what will be the payment of the employees what will be the payment of the other parts like this compensation management performance of the employees and employee satisfaction survey we can use statistics and again hypothesis testing concept is used to assess the efficacy of training programs so these are the various sectors of business and management where we can apply statistics efficiently okay sir you want to so take for... attendance sir attendance yes. sir attendance is yes, yes. i am taking attendance now okay okay sir for this session this is up to this and in next session we will